Hello, in this session we'll talk about installing SAP HANA Studio. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So we already have SAP HANA 1 database up and running at Amazon Web Services on Linux machine. We already have installed SAP HANA client on our Windows machine and it is working properly. We have verified its installation and now it's time to install SAP HANA Studio which we will use as a development tool as well as for administration of SAP HANA 1 database. SAP HANA Studio is an Eclipse based system. It requires Java which we have already installed in the previous session. Now we are good to go with the installation of SAP HANA Studio. You're looking at my downloads folder. Here you can see one zip file for SAP HANA Studio which is not extracted yet. So I'm going to double click on it. This opens up express zip file utility that I have on my computer and I'm going to click on extract icon and then choose extract all. I'm going to go with this path that I entered in the previous session. System is going to create more folders underneath this path so I'm okay. I'm going to click on extract button. Finally, I see the message file extraction was successful, so I'm going to click OK on that. Now system is showing me the folder to which the files are extracted. Now let me navigate into this subfolder and we have two applications here, in fact three. One is for uninstallation, but for installation we have two HDB INST and HDB setup. The first one is going to launch a text-based installer. The second one is going to launch Windows based installer. So let me go with the second one. The installation wizard opens up with four step process. Here you can see the destination folder. I'm okay with that. If you want to change, then change it now. I'm going to click on the next button on bottom right side. Here you can review what you are installing. You can expand this node if you want to and click on the install button. Finally you will see the message you have successfully installed the SAP HANA Studio. So now I will click on the finish button.